Okay, and next let's return to one of the rules of the hooks. And as a side note, if you don't want to follow along with this video, you don't have to. So in my case, yes, I will import the file and all that, but basically I just want to showcase a few things. And the reason why I set up the files, just so you can have it for your reference. So long story short, if you don't feel like it, you can just sit back and relax and watch me struggle. So if I navigate to the file, the 03 hooks rule, you'll notice that I have a use state and use effect. I have some kind of condition again. This is just a random value and the Boolean value is true. So remember when we discussed hooks, one of the rules was don't call hooks conditionally. So this is not going to work. You cannot place a hook inside of the if condition. Hooks need to be called in the same order. And just to show you another example, which sometimes gets discussed in the course Q and A, let me first comment this one out and then uncomment the second one. So notice over here, I have the early return. Now, this again is not something you want to do. You don't want to place use effect after this condition. Because keep in mind, if you're returning, that's it. We stop reading the code. So effectively, we call the use effect conditionally. And Vite is not going to throw you a bunch of errors. But if you use, for example, create react app, you'll have a bunch of warnings and errors in the console and all that. So again, just a few things to keep in mind. Don't place the hook inside of the if condition. And also be careful if you have multiple returns, basically, if you have JSX return based on some condition, don't place use effect after them. Make sure that use effect is always before those conditions. And then yes, of course, you can set up tons of multiple returns. So that is still okay. But you don't want to call this one conditionally. It's not going to work.